hi everybody welcome back to my channel this is the what's in my bag video and I know that these were old um, people used to do these all the time like back when YouTube first started but since I wasn't on there then I am going to do it now and again welcome here if this is your first time here and if you are a recurring person thank you so much for tuning in I so appreciate it if you guys could all do me a favor and hit subscribe button down below it's actually the one thing you can do in this world that is actually free it is free and hit the uh, sorry I saw it on my mouth um, if you want to hit the notifications button as well this way you'll be informed whenever I put out a new video so let's get into the what's in my bag this is going to be a what's in my new bag because I actually just got this bag As you can see it's really big um, I just got this for actually from Amazon and if you watched my last video with my Amazon haul, um, I showed you that I had bought these um, candles for my bag. So this bag was on Amazon. I think it was like $30. It wasn't too crazy. And it's big enough. It's black and it's gold. It's got this gold hardware. It has a snap. And then on the inside as well, it also has um, hooks so if you want to hook it in the middle and then snap it you can do that as well um, but it came with like plain black strap handles and um, it's itching my shoulder and I just wasn't feeling it so I went on Amazon and I bought these and I think they look so nice with the purse because they're gold and black um, just like the purses and I just love these on here and it was like one of the best purchases I've ever made um, the inside of the bag is like a, it's like a, it's like a faux leather feel, I guess, but very, very sturdy. And on the inside, it's like a, kind of like a chocolate brown, I guess you could say. Yeah, it's like a chocolate brown um, and black. And it doesn't have the feet or anything on the bottom, but I never put my purse on the floor anyway, so it doesn't matter. And, um, but I really like it. I just got it not that long ago. Um, like I had said, I had tried to use a smaller purse at one point. You know, some women can do it and kudos to you. I wish I could, I just can't. So let's get into what's inside my bag. So the first thing I'm gonna do is, there's this little um, side zipper pocket. So I'm gonna go in there first. And, oh, <laughs> since COVID-19, our masks. So I have three of them. <laughs> I have three of them in here just in case I need to go into a store or I am required to wear one, at least I can wear them. So I think that is all, yeah, that is all that's in the little zipper bag. In the middle, it has, if you can see, but it has this pouch that's attached with a zipper. So I'm gonna do the middle. Um, it's kind of like a divider between one side and the other. So let me do that one first for you. <laughs> excuse me and so I just switched my purses so I I don't think I have anything in here um, that's junk I got rid of it off camera <laughs> so hold on so in this little side pack I have um, just some makeup wipes you never know like especially in the summer maybe your skin's feeling a little icky or you just kind of want to remove something and then reapply it I always like to have um, these with me and I think we got these at like Walgreens um, you know, we go to Walgreens and they have like a little travel section. Um, so I always pick up these. I always keep them in my purse just in case I want to wipe something off and do it again. Um, these come in handy. And then I have my glasses. And um, I love the case that came in. These are actually from Amazon. And um, they are blue light glasses. And I just got them and I got them with my prescription in it. Oh look, I can see, <laughs> because normally I can't see, but the glare with the ring light and everything, I don't wanna keep giving you guys a glare. Um, but yeah, you can get these um, blue light glasses from Amazon and you just fill in what your prescription is. I don't think it's like a bifocal or anything, it's just like a straight like reading prescription kind of thing. Um, but these are great, I just got these, actually probably like three weeks ago, and I've been using them and it really does, um, when I'm on my computer or I'm editing videos or I'm on my phone or whatever, these um, really cut down the glare and really save your eyes. So I highly recommend those. What else do I have? Oh, I have my 
new wallet that I just got. In my last video, I showed you I got a new wallet that I wanted to have because I wanted like an open top one. Um, so it opens, so everything is in there, nice and neat. And in the middle pouch of it, the only thing I have are stamps. Um, but my credit cards, my license, AAA card, any cash that I have. We had a um, bad experience at Wooden Tap not that long ago, so they give us free things. So I have like all my little coupons in there for when they um, open back up. It was just like one of those random things. It wasn't really anybody's fault, but I did mention it. And the manager's like, here, just have some free stuff on us. So I'm like, oh, okay, thank you. So I have those to use next time. <clears throat> and what else is in there? <coughs> um, two more things. So, oh, so first I just have this little like Tupperware jar full of bobby pens. Um, if you're like me, you know, sometimes your hair is in your face or it's just bothering you and you just want to lift it up. Or if I put my hair in a bun or a half bun, I guess you could call it or whatever, and hair start falling out, it's always nice for me to have um, uh, some bobby pins in there. Um, so I always carry them with me. And I have, oh, I have this in this little pouch. Um, I showed you this from my last Amazon haul, but it is a perfume spritzer. And it's just so pretty. It's like a pink, rosy gold. And what you do is you just twist the top, you fill it with your favorite perfume. This comes apart. You put your favorite perfume in there and then you always have it whenever you need it. And I like the fact that it's very small and compact and I don't have to bring, you know, a whole thing of perfume or body spray or whatever I'm wearing that day with me. And I just keep this on my purse and I keep it in the little bag. And then that's it. So it's in there all nice and ready to roll. Okay, so that's that side. So I'm gonna do the front side, which is the side right here. And what I have is, oh, I have my book, my planner with a pen right here. And I love this planner. I think I got it at Target. Target or Hobby Lobby, but oh, this doesn't have anything written in it. Um, but this is where I plan like all my YouTube videos or Insta stories um, or anything I'm doing like that. I also put like doctor's appointments, nail appointments, hair appointments, everything is in here. And I tried to just use my phone as my calendar and things like that. I don't know, maybe I'm just old school or whatever, but I like to have everything written down. I like to be able to touch it. I like to be able to open it. And for me, it just works for me that way. I just don't function well um, with everything in the phone. And then in the back, like the front is like a calendar. And this is all of uh, 2020. <laughs> Since, hey, this year there's not going to be that much in this calendar, is there? Um, hopefully 2021 will be full. And then just in the back, it has a lot of notes. So um, any ideas that I get um, or like story ideas I have, or um, if I want to make like a new recipe or something, I'll just write myself a note in here. And I carry this with me all the time. So I always have it with me um, and it's really pretty too. I love it. Um, so that's where I put all my ideas down that I'm going to do for you guys. And that's that. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh. Okay, and then I have this little, oh, look, I didn't even take the price tag off. There we go. But I got this from oh, Paramonte. It's from Amazon, but it's like a little caddy for your purse. And I like to have it just for like the miscellaneous things that kind of roll around. I don't like anything um, rolling around inside my purse. I like to be able to, um, anything that's loose or small, I like to know that it's right here. And if I need to, I can just lift it right out of my bag and then go inside. It also has um, some little pouches, so I can also put my cell phone in here if I want to, so it's tucked in and it's safe and it won't get scratched. I mean, I do have the screen protector and everything on it, but it's still nice to, you know, have something like that. <clears throat> and I got this from Amazon. I just got a simple gray one. Um, they come in all different colors. Um, I'm gonna show you what's in there. So in there I have asthma. So I have my inhaler. I don't go anywhere without my inhaler. I have two hand creams, I think, yep. So I have a Suave Advanced Therapy Lotion and a Jergens Ultra Healing Lotion. And I always keep lotion. I always put, oh, it's driving me crazy. I always put 
um, lotion on after I wash my hands. And as of today, you know, we're washing our hands a heck of a lot more. Um, so I like to always be able to put this on. I put this one on too before I go to bed just to make my hands really soft. So they don't, they can, they have a tendency to get really dry and crack. <clears throat> and I don't know about you, but if I don't have nails on, I mean, my nails are done. I did them. Um, but if I don't have like artificial nails on, I seem to like always be at my cuticles. I don't know what it is. It's obviously some kind of habit I have. Um, but I notice if I keep cream on my hands at all times, I don't do that. Um, so until I can get my nails back on, especially I'm going to keep using the cream. What else do I have? <laughs> oh, I have this cute little marble pill box. And inside there, I just do, um, there's only my Excedrin that's in there right now. So I'm prone to get migraines or really bad headaches. So I carry extra strength Excedrin migraine everywhere I go all the time. And because I don't want to bring like the big whole bottle and I didn't like the look of the little bottle. I'm more of like somebody who likes things that are aesthetically pleasing. So I tend to go for um, little things like this that I, I like to look at too. So I always keep this filled. And when I know I'm getting low, I'll just remind myself to go back in there and fill it up. So I have that. I have a lighter just because you never know. I guess I might need a lighter one day. And the la actually the last three things I have in there are all the same thing but they are three things of hand sanitizer. So I got one from Primark when we went that time. I got one from like CVS and then our local grocery store has them too. So now I am a proud member of a three in the purse carrying one of these cause you know, every time you come out of the grocery store or if I put something in the mailbox or whatever, if I can't get to a sink to wash my hands, at least I know I always have sanitizer and I have enough if you know my husband's with me or something too, I have enough for you know the both of us to use. So I always keep those. And I think that, yep, that was it for that pocket. So now we're going into the last pocket, which is the one on the other side. So let's see, <laughs> we'll do the, the small little one first. I have the set of three that I showed you in my last video and I have put them out to good use. So this is the smallest of the three pouches I got from Amazon, it was a whole set. So in the little one, I have a hair tie. I have um, Pepto-Bismol because you never know if you're going to get a stomach ache or you start to feel a little icky. It's nice to have these on hand. I have the old Tide Spot pen because I spill, like I'm wearing a white sweater now, but I have a, a black top under underneath it. I spill everything. I am, I am very girly, but very non-graceful. Um, so I always keep a Tide pen or a Downy pen or some kind of pen with me that if I spill something, I can get at it right away. I have that. I have, I have some topical cream just in case somebody gets cut. I have band-aids on my other thing I'll show you, but it's nice to have an uh, antibiotic top cream. Um, so if you do cut yourself or whatever, and if you can't get to wash it, at least you have an antibiotic to put on top of it. I have, well, that's weird, but I have a floss pick. I don't know why I have just one. I guess I got low. I need some more. I have, um, I had business cards made. So here are our business cards. I don't know if it'll focus in. Is that it? Yeah. So we have business cards and I also have some other business cards with me as well. But if I run into anybody I know, sometimes I will just like leave one in a store, you know, or I'll pass them out or whatever, you know, trying to grow the channel. So I had cards made. They were really cheap on, I think I used like Vistaprint or something. So I got like 500 cards for like, I don't even know, 20 bucks, 25 bucks, something like that. So I have cards. So if you see me anywhere out and about, say, hey, Tina, I saw you on YouTube. Can I have a card? And I will have them for you. I promise. So it has like our email on it. It has our um, Facebook group name, which is the same thing, and also our Instagram name, also the same thing. And then I have, oops, I just dropped some, but I have a bunch of safety pins because girls, as we know, sometimes you're out somewhere, if your button pops or something happens, it's always good to have safety pins. And I have like 15 of them, just in case I'm out, <coughs> excuse me, if I'm out anywhere and somebody else needs a safety pin, I always have them to give to them. So I always keep them on hand. And I am Italian and I am Catholic and I always carry 
my rosary beads with me. I like to know that God's with me at all times. So I have those in my little bag as well. So I think that was it for that bag. <coughs> and now we have, <coughs> excuse me, the second size up. So this is what I have. Oh, I didn't zip it all the way. Good thing it didn't smell out. So this is where I keep all my makeup. So this is just like the makeup that I take with me. So I have um, just a plain regular lip gloss. I have um, the Milani, which is the one that I'm wearing now that I love. I have, I have a couple of the um, NYX ones. And I have creme brulee and I have pink. So I need two cans for this. So I have these two that I use. Whoops, upside down, sorry. So I like these, they're the butter gloss. So they go on really smooth too. Kind of a lip gloss junkie. So I have a bunch of those with me at, at all times. And then I have, um, in case I do have, it's a day where I do am wearing lashes. I have my tweezers and I have my nail glue. Funny, quick, quick funny story. So one day I was at work and um, I was talking to my coworker and it's a man. And he was sitting there and we were just like, you know, talking a little bit. And then as I was talking to him, I blinked and my eyelash fell off. It was the funniest thing. I thought he was going to die. We were both laughing. You got to be able to laugh at yourself when you do something that, that funny. <coughs> excuse me. I must just not have had on enough, <coughs> excuse me, eyelash glue that day. So ever since that day, I always make, make sure I have it with me. So if one, I feel one isn't on as secure as it should be. I will put this on because I never want that to happen again. I mean, it was embarrassing, but it was really funny. And then I have um, just a little mirror. It's kind of dirty and old, but I've always had it, so I just kind of keep it in there. Then I have another Milani lip gloss. Usually I combine two. These are the two um, that I combine, combine most often, and I love those two together. It's what I'm wearing right now. I just like, you know, the nudes, the champagnes, um, the light beige. I'm not really one to wear wild colors on my lips. It's just, this is just kind of what I do. <coughs> I have that. Then I have um, just an eyebrow um, stick on one side and the brush on the other side. I don't use this one anymore, so I don't know why it's in here, but it's in there. And then I have um, just a brush and I have um, my powder. So this powder that I'm using now is Revlon and it's color stay. So I never use um, the sponges or the pads, whatever you want to call them that come with there. I always use a brush. Um, I think this is a no name one. So I just keep it in there. Um, I always use that. I actually have an oil. Um, I don't know what it's called, but it's like, um, it's coming from Amazon, but I haven't gotten it yet. So it will go in this bag as soon as it gets here. But it's like an oil blotter. And it looks like a little sponge and it comes in like a little tin. So like in, my T-zone has a tendency to get oily sometimes. So you can just kind of press with it and takes like the oil up and then you can just kind of do one quick thing. I love to stay matte all day long. I do not like a lot of shine on my face. You know, the little spots where I put highlighter in, okay. But the look of oil on the face when it's, I hate that. Like I am constantly checking to make sure I don't have it. Usually you can feel it. You know, if your skin starts to get that way, um, but I am constantly at it because I do not like that. And that was it for there. And up, oh, we're on, we're on the last piece. So this is the bigger one um, that came in this set of three. So that one, this one, and this one. And this one houses um, a lot of paper things or little things like that so that I know where it is, just like with the hand sanitizers and everything in that other little bin. I hate things rolling around in the bottom of my purse. I just can't stand it. It's one of those things. So in here I have, um, first things first, I got this on Amazon too, and it's a little fan. And it goes high to low. It comes with a charger. I think I have the charger with me too, I do comes with a charger and you just plug it into like the end of like that plug for your cell phone and then this goes there and into the wall and it charges so if you're getting a hot flash like I get hot flashes sometimes or you just want to sit outside or you're somewhere I actually brought it to take to vacation 
which I, I am not on right now. I should be in Mexico as we speak, but I am in Connecticut. And I brought this just so that, like, I love the sun. I love being outside, you know, but sometimes you just need that little puff of air. And oh, I feel so good. And it lights up at the bottom. And then um, this way you can just kind of cool off real quick. And I appreciate that. I have that. Also in here I have a pen. And I got these from Amazon too. They're rose gold. Um, they're right black. But they have like glitter in it. I don't know. Just kind of one of those quick buys that I did. Then I have um, this little case. Not a case, but a cell phone stand. So I have a cell phone stand. I'm not sure how it opens. I think it opens from over here, but I can't open it right now. Oh, here it goes. So this is just like a little stand you put like this. It has a little felt right here, so you can put your cell phone in there. So if you're doing something and you just want to balance your cell phone, like if you're at work especially, and you don't want your cell phone like down on your desk, you can just put this on there. And then it just compacts and it just fits right in your purse. So that's a great thing. And then, oh, band-aids to go with the topical ointment. But I kept the band-aids in here because it was a bigger sheet of band-aids. So I just thought it made more sense to keep it in there. And last couple items I have, obviously not going to show you the front, but um, checkbooks. So it's my checkbook and our house checkbook, two different ones. And last but not least, we have a wedding invitation for July. Don't know if we're going to have a wedding or not for our friends. Actually, actually my husband's cousin. Um, so hopefully they'll still have their wedding. I hope everything is, you know, safe and sound by then so that we can go because I love a good wedding. So that looks like it's it. Yep. Bag is empty. So again, I got this bag from Amazon and I bought this chain to put on it because I absolutely just love it. So that was the what's in my purse video. Thank you guys for sticking around and watching. Any questions or comments, I love them. I read them all, so please put them down and I respond to everybody. If you wanna know where I got any of the things I got or um, if you have any ideas, I'd love to hear uh, from you. Everybody stay safe, have a great day, and hopefully we'll get through this all together as soon as possible. Please subscribe, hit the notifications button. We so appreciate it. You guys have a great day and I will see you guys soon. Bye everybody.